Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given this digital circuit and in this circuit, 21 XOR gates are connected in the cascade connection. So here, the input to the circuit is equal to X and we have been asked to find the output of the given circuit. So here, let us start with the first XOR gate. So here, one of the input to this first XOR gate is equal to 1 while the second input is equal to x. Let's say the output of the first XOR gate is equal to p. So here this p can be given as a x or b. Let's say this a is equal to 1 while this b is equal to x and this a x or b can be given as a bar b plus a b bar. That means this p is equal to 0 dot x plus 1 dot x bar. So clearly this first term will be equal to 0 and therefore this p is equal to x bar. That means whenever the input to this xor gate are 1 and x then the output will be equal to x bar and in a way this xor gate will act as a inverter. So this x bar will given as an input to this next xor gate and one of the input is equal to x. That means now the input to this second XOR gate is equal to x bar and x. Now in the recent video on the main channel, we have seen that the output of the XOR gate is equal to 1 when the both inputs are different. So in this second XOR gate, one input is x while the second input is x bar. And obviously, this x and x bar are complement to each other. That means whenever this x is equal to 0, then the x bar will be equal to 1 and vice versa when x is equal to 1 then the x bar will be equal to 0. That means in any case this x and x bar will be complement to each other and since both are different so the output of the second xor gate is equal to 1. That means after the two xor gate the output of this circuit will be equal to 1 and it will get repeated after every two xor gate. That means if we see the output of the circuit after the 4 XOR gate, then it will be equal to 1. And likewise, if we see the output of the circuit after the 20 XOR gate, then it is also equal to 1. That means now, the input to this last XOR gate or this 21st XOR gate are 1 and X. And as we have seen, when the input to this XOR gate are 1 and X, then this output Y is equal to X bar. That means after the 21 XOR gate, if we see the output of this circuit, then it is equal to x bar. And hence, we can say that for the given question, this b is the correct answer.